What's up, YouTube? I'm here with Peyton and Christian. Uh, today, we got some new fishing for this tank. Last time I updated you guys, um, I lost one of the clowns, that black and white one. I got a pair, but I didn't build my screen in time. And um, overnight, one of them jumped out of the tank and he passed away. So today we're getting his replacement. He's in the bag right now. He's pan up right there in the bag. Um, I just got him in through Live Aquaria. They had a 20% off coupon, so I made another plunge just to buy the pair. Um, I'm not doing any quarantine or anything like that because um, I only have four fishes and they all came from Live Aquaria. If I had more to my collection and more valuable fish, I would consider doing quarantine, but do your research. Um, if you follow Aaron's Aquatics, I'll leave a link. Um, he does extensive QT, so when I was watching his videos, I was feeling kind of guilty that um, I don't take as many precautions as he has. Uh, my fish aren't that expensive. They're just clowns, like the orange ones right there to your right. They were only $12.99, $14.99. And the Darwin clowns, the black and white ones, they were around 20 something when they were on sale. But when they're not on sale, they're like $49. But yeah, I don't have time to set up whole quarantine system and I don't even have meds so I'm just going to plop and drop this guy they look healthy and um, the ones that I got in so far I did get one sick one that very small one so if you watch my past videos he had like um, fin rot or something like that but everyone's recovered and looking good the one in the bag looks pretty good to me too and I was told that the clowns were are aggressive to each other and I kind of got lucky the three that I have in there so far they're all getting along and how I originally put in the two Darwins was with the a breeder box put them into the breeder box and I let them um, decompress for a day or two before I released them into the tank so since I got luck with doing that for the Darwin clowns, I'm going, I'm going to replicate those steps again. So I have the breeder box in the back right there. I'm going to plop and drop the guy in the bag into the breeder box. Just in case if he's weak or anything, let himself gather himself. Let him gather himself, I guess. And then after tomorrow, I'll put him into the tank. I'll let the other guys check him out and everything. But when I release him, I, I take the bag out into a bucket and then I scoop him out. I don't put that water into my, into my tank. So let me get to it. So I have him right here in the net. Just gonna plop him in. Let him chill in there for a bit. Put the lid in also. So I got him into the breeder box. I'll let him get accustomed to everything for a couple of days. Um, and then I'll release him into the tank. So in the near future, I want to get a 20 gallon breeder. The one that you saw me buy from Petco. I want to make that um, 20 gallon breeder into another um, salt tank. But for that tank, I want to just put um, the clownfish and uh, anemones. So if you see in this tank, you see that um, orange basket? It has a bunch of pond matrix. It's biological media. It contains a lot of the beneficial bacteria. And towards the bottom, you also see um, a bunch of spheres. I'm gonna take all of that out and kind of jump start my second tank. So in the near future, I'll show you that build. 
and what I'll be doing. So stay tuned and um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and be on the lookout for those videos. I want to breed out these clowns so I'm going to separate out the orange guys, leave them in this tank and for the new tank I'll have the Darwin clowns in there and I'll attempt to breed these guys out. So yeah, stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll see how fast I work. <laughs> Bye.